Hey guys, welcome back to another Queen Phone video. In today's video, we're talking about US Mobile and how their plans have finally changed. Even though there's been speculations about this, it's finally official. So today's August 1st, 2023, guys, at least the making of this video. So let's get into it. Of course, like I said, there's new uh, price plans with all in pricing, add, adds new unlimited plans, and shareable data plans. So if you guys don't know who US Mobile is, I've used them before. Really good carrier. They run off of Verizon's network, as well as you can uh, possibly get. Um, the T-Mobile network. So they use T-Mobile and Verizon. So you just put it, put, you put your location in their little, um, I guess, location finder thing. Um, once you're signing up and it'll tell you, you know, who to pick. Uh, there's a black SIM card and a white one. They send you both and basically they'll say, hey, use the black one for Verizon and use the white one for uh, T-Mobile. I'm, I'm just guessing, but it'll tell you on the paper. So this is the future of 5G connectivity, unlimited data, talk, and text for $25 a month, taxes and fees included, what's not to love. That's a new thing though, taxes and fees are included before I believe you had to pay that. But let's get into it guys. So this is by bestnvno.com, really good. So it says, uh, for a couple months, US Mobile has been teasing on Reddit about coming out with new plans and features. These plans are officially here guys. To start, data allotments are now the same no matter which network you use um us mobile with so remember how i was telling you there's a cdma and a gsm network um or t-mobile and verizon so it says it's gsm network t-mobile or 5g uh network which is verizon um so like i said it's either you'll get the t-mobile or the verizon network what i was saying Sorry, I had to let the dog out. Um, <laughs> so it says, previously, Warp 5G unlimited plans included more data than the GSM plans. So basically, if you had the Verizon network, you would get more data than the T-Mobile network. There's also a new unlimited plan called Unlimited Starter. So kind of the same thing, kind of like Verizon's doing with their starter or welcome um, starter plan. Uh, this is called Unlimited Starter with 20 gigs of high-speed data, uh, premium data, that is, for 25 bucks a month. So for $25 a month, this is a newer thing. You get 25 gigs of high-speed data, which is not bad. There are a new shareable data plan. So I don't know if you guys know, but US Mobile as well, for some reason, still has shareable data plans. So if you get a line of two or three and you get a, a pool bucket of uh, 30 gigs, that 30 gigs will be shared between the two or the three of you guys, you know? So that's what a shared data, data plan is. Customers with multi-lines can share data across all their different devices, even if the devices are using different networks. Wow. So now they're basically, even if one person is using the T-Mobile network and one person is using the Verizon network, before, like I said, it had to be on the same one. Now you could be on any network and still share that data. So, Because now if you think about it, it there's no more... Um, everybody's getting the same amount of data, where before, like I said, T-Mobile would only give you, I think, I don't know, 15 gigs, let's just say, or 50, whatever it was. And then uh, um, you, let's say the Verizon would give you 100 gigs. That was not even. Now they're making it even, basically, is what they're saying. Um, so it says, all U.S. mobile plans now include taxes and fees in their pricing, which is good. A lot of people are starting to do that, which is good because, you know, you say your, your plan's 40 bucks a month, but then it's 44 after taxes and fees. You know, that adds up. So it says... And international calling has been released as a beta feature for customers with the GSM 5G SIM. That's one thing that I know that US Mobile is lacking really bad is they have no international calling. So you can't even call, I think, in Mexico or Canada. But if you have the GSM uh, 5G SIMs, which would be the T-Mobile, they're starting to release, uh, I guess, a, a beta for that. So the feature is planned for launch on the World 5G network in the next few months. So for the Verizon network, you should be able to get that within the next few months, months, which is, like I said, a big thing that I think deters a lot of uh, people that need that plan. It says U.S. Mobile's updated and limited plans. So here's the new plans um, that, you know, in the pricing. So let's get to it. $25 a month now. Uh, it's a limited starter. It's called the limited starter. 20 gigs of high-speed premium data. For 40 bucks a month, it's unlimited essential. 50 gigs of high-speed premium data. Previously, it was 40 with five gigs of hotspot data included, priced as low as 30 bucks a month per line for three or more lines. Now with US Mobile, if you guys don't know, you get multi-line and discounts and perks. So the more lines, the more you save. So for three lines or more, it's only 30 bucks a month instead of 40. So it's $10 discount. 
For 50 bucks a month, you get the unlimited premium. So 100 gigabytes of high speed premium data, guys. That's a lot. So for 50 bucks a month, that's the one I would pro probably go with. You get 100 gigs of high speed premium data, free international um, data, and 50 gigs of a mobile hotspot. Now that 50 gigs goes towards the $100 allotment or 100 gigabyte allotment. So half of it you can use uh, as hotspot if you wanted and the rest you can use as your premium data. So 50 gigs is a lot. Price as low as $40 a, a line per month for three or more lines. Plus you'll receive a streaming subscription perk for three or more lines. So you can get like uh, Amazon, Hulu, uh what was the other one spotify you can get that for free um you have to have of course a limited premium package you have to have three or more lines for that and you can mix and match like i think we had two lines and a tablet and you were ever you were you were able to get the perk users on old plans that got one perk for three lines and two perks for four lines will be grandfathered into those perks for the, the time being so remember um the old one was a little bit better i would say because if you had um if you had three lines uh you would get two perks uh, or you sorry if you had four lines you would get two perks instead of one now they're just gonna give you one perk so they're gonna save money somewhere you know after the high speed data limit is reached with each plan throttle speeds will be at one megabit per second um us mobile did it in the past also offer one megabit per second throttle speeds so basically, once you hit your 100 gigs, your 20 gigs, or 20, you can still use it. It's just pretty slow. I mean, I mean, it's a lot better than kilobits per second, but it, you know, like I said, it's 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 pretty good. It's not that bad. So pretty good. At least your speeds will be usable. I would say better than like I said, kilobits per second. So says previously, the unlimited um, premium plan offered just 35 gigs of data if you were using it on the T-Mobile app. Ah, that's what it was. Like I said, I couldn't remember what it was, but it's 35 gigs. So previously the T-Mobile network, if you were using the T-Mobile network, they would only give you 35 gigs of data. So the change to 100, 100 gigs is a huge improvement. The mid tier and limited plan includes 25 gigs of high speed data on the T-Mobile network. So the change to 50 is also big. So basically they're, doubling almost tripling the amount of data that you would get on t-mobile me personally i would get the Verizon network just because of the coverage but of course if you want a t-mobile and you're in a good t-mobile coverage area the speeds on t-mobile seem to be faster so a lot of people did like the t-mobile network but like i said 35 gigs i mean to, for me i would personally be able to use it i think currently on my plan i get 30 gigs and i've only used 10 you know because i got wi-fi now i'm going on vacation so that that's going to change quite a bit so we'll see says for some customers the new plans may come with a slight price increase uh, particularly for customers with three or more lines below is a table comparing the pricing of the old versus the new it says the old plans did have additional charges for taxes and fees which varies by state the new plans have taxes and fees included so basically um here we go guys it's um these were the old ones and so as you can see the plans did go up quite a bit um but you know you get tax and fees included and stuff like that so one line limited starter is 25 um wow the plants definitely did go up for unlimited essential was 35 now it's 40 the unlimited premium was 45 now it's 50 so when i'm five bucks not too bad but then once you get two three and four lines it does go up ten dollars there 15 there and big jump there holy jesus so before for front lines, it was 80 or this one right here went up $40 guys. So actually there, the plants kind of got expensive. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like I said, the old one seems to be a lot better. So if you're grandfathered into old one, I, I would say stick with the old one. And because taxes and fees ain't, it definitely is not gonna be a $40 difference. You know what I mean? Um, but of course you want the limited premium. It was only, it's $5 difference for one line. Two lines is was 80 because so it was 40 now it's 90 which is 45 so huh and then of course three lines was 105 now it's 15 dollars higher um so it looks like it's uh, it's five dollars more per line for most of these guys um so yeah all the plants went up five bucks which is not too bad i guess if you think about it um but you know there's taxes and fees are are included now it says 
Although in some instances the price increase seems pretty drastic, they probably aren't. They probably aren't, and maybe for some aren't an increase at all. US Mobile did charge quite a bit of for tax and fees on their old plants. However, if you are a new customer with more than three lines, you are likely paying a bit more than you would have before. That's true. For the time being, new numbers can get a limited starter uh, plan for 50% off their first month, dropping the price to $12.50. Um, and then this is like the share plan. I don't really get too much into it, but if you guys want to see, they're called pool plans. Uh, you know, we're priced per $9 per line plus two gigabytes of shareable data. Like I said, I don't really get too much in shareable data, but um, I'm more to the limited. But if you guys want to like pause and look at it, basically six gigs for $18 a month, 12 gigs, 25 bucks a month. Um, 30 gigs is $50 a month plus 16 for an additional um, 10 gigabytes. But overall, I think this is pretty good, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let's say we tend to stick more with limited plans, and that's what we are doing. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Like I said, I've used uh, US Mobile before, and they're actually really good. I do enjoy them. You do get you do get their 5G network as long as uh, Verizon has 5G in the area. So thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. More videos your way. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.